Hey you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live once again from the south. More specifically, Caney Fork, North Carolina, where I'm standing here next to something truly spectacular. What we have here is what is known as Judicala Rock. Um, this is a rock that has been covered with Native American symbols and carvings. Um, what makes this interesting is this is not part of the Cherokee alphabet. As a matter of fact, uh, no one knows what these symbols mean or where they came from. Uh, they're not part of any known language. Um, and the Cherokee have their own legends on what form this rock, where it come from. The name Judicala Rock, it's actually named after a mythical creature. Uh, Judicala means the slant-eyed giant. And there's actually, uh, depending where you get your information, there's actually different stories on who or what Judicala actually was. Uh, I've heard counsel where he's actually talked about as if he wore some sort of Sasquatch-like creature, some sort of forest monster in the line of Bigfoot. Um, what's inter and then another interesting fact is when the Bible was translated into Cherokee, they actually uh, took the name Judicala uh, to replace the name Goliath. So Judicala actually appears in the Bible uh, in his fight with David, which is fairly interesting. But the story um, that connects Judicala to this rock, his namesake, is that Judicala, the slant-eyed giant, you would live on top of Devil's Courthouse, which is actually um, a rock formation over on the Blue Ridge Parkway. And I'll go ahead and throw a picture of that up here. Um, so supposedly Judicala would sit on top of Devil's Courthouse in his throne of judgment, and what he would look for is greedy selfish hunters i guess you know hunters that killed too much or took too much and when he saw one of these hunters he would leap down massive leap from his throne above top of devil's courthouse which is actually quite some distance from here so a massive leap uh supposedly he saw a hunter here that was greedy and selfish and he jumped down in order to take this hunter out i don't know what he did if he ate him or ripped him to pieces but he took care of the hunter supposedly when he landed his the hand hit the rock and left a handprint. So let's, and supposedly it is actually still here. So let's go take a look at Judicala's handprint. I don't know if you can make it out, but you can see the palm and the fingerprints right there. That is supposedly where the hand of Judicala landed. I put my hand up there to show you how big it was, but there are signs that say do not touch the rock. And um, these rules are actually pretty relevant. This rock itself has been massively degraded and destroyed over the past uh, several decades. Um, to get a good view of the rock here. As you can see, the, the symbols, they don't have a lot of, you know, they're a little hard to make out now. Um, there's actually a really cool vintage picture, which I'll throw up. Um, as you can see, um, this was once the rock was much bigger at one point, and these these symbols were much more intricate. Um, they actually had filled them with chalk in order to show off um, just how cool these are. But sadly, uh, this ended up being part of the downfall of the rock. These uh, the chalk had a chemical reaction with the rock that actually broke it down, wore it away, um, and then because now you kind of have what you see right now. Now I must note that the Judicala slant-eyed giant theory is not the only theory on how this rock was created. Um, if you actually, I found on the look, doing research on the internet a few years back, I found there is a paranormal investigative group based out of Asheville and they concluded um, that what we're seeing here is actually a 1500 year old example of the first microscope. They said that these symbols are all pictures of microscopic organisms. They have actually pictures on the website of matching up symbols to different organisms. I think that I think the link I think it's judicolorock.com. Um, I'll look up the link. I'll put it somewhere on here. Um, and anyway, very cool. Come out here and take a look. Um, We've actually done some effort here. I've noticed they put up a nice little walkway, some nice little signs. Um, I was here a few years back. It was just kind of, uh, you know, 
neglected, but it looks like they're they're taking some some initiative in in preserving this rock, and and hopefully uh, it's no longer degraded or or drawn chalk on. Um, but anyway, thank you. And good night.